So I just received a comment on another video, the junkyard inventory. Just watched it, or not watched it, but just skimmed through a couple of the fresh comments. One of them was, it looks like David David's farm channel and Hacker Garage's channel had a baby, and it was Jay Smart's channel. And you know what? I thought that was pretty freaking cool. I remember years ago on YouTube, long before the controversy in his channel got dropped, watching David Rock and his farm up there in Canada. And it was just, it was awesome. David's farm was, I, I think I've, I've watched everything he ever did. I remember seeing the Chevy Act for the first time, all his redneck roller coasters from the Astro van that broke drive shafts to the Cavalier that blew the head gasket. Those were good times. But today, uh, and I'm gonna have to go put the camera on charge, Today, I guess the channel is leaning towards a Hagger Garage style video rather than David's farm because we are painting the Ricer Accord wagon. Um, we've lowered it since you've last seen it. We finally found a factory roof rack, which was damn near impossible, but we've got it now. And this blue is just no longer doing it for us with these old school smoothie wheels that I did not think the car deserved. But now we're going to make it look a little better and give it a proper retro paint job and make fun of, well not make fun of, but <sighs> we're going to paint it two-tone. And uh, we went and picked up the uh, super awesome, no, I'm just kidding, cheapo Rust-Oleum double coat. This is like a, um, it's like a what, colonial red. That's what they call it and uh, we're gonna do the colonial it was either that or like candy apple and I didn't think the candy apple would, would look as this just looked so much better so we're gonna do that with a white top and we're gonna two-tone the car red and white and see how that works but David's taking some trim off I'm about to pop out some lights and corner lights and stuff like that that you can pull out easy save myself a little bit of taping work and then we're gonna we, we scrubbed it pretty good earlier but i'm gonna run it down with scotch bright and then wipe it off with a um with a, well, a lacquer uh, not lacquer um it's kind of like paint thinner mineral spirits i think that's the stuff i bought i can't remember but you, you know what i mean i've got some i think it's mineral spirits something like that i'm gonna wipe it all down and uh get all the debris off of it now this is a terribly unprofessional paint job we're doing it in the yard it's kind of windy the grass is dead and blowing everywhere so this is going to turn out perfect so i'm going to put the camera on charge we're going to get to taping and stuff and uh, i'll film after the camera gets a little bit more battery and then we'll of course we'll show you the finished product all right guys you seen where we was taking the lights out you know by the way it's not jay tell me Jay's actually down there painting the car. But, uh, yeah. So, we took about a two hour break and got here. Actually, I'm painting the red. And now, we got it all taped up, and Jay's painting the white. So, check out the, the red, though. Stand far away so it don't look so bad. And make a lap around it. The sun's catching it at like the right angle over here. Yeah, and the sun's blocking it, like blinding the camera. So sorry about that, guys. How about that red, though? Yep. Let's see it from our hemisphere. Oh yeah. Oh, that red looks nice. Well, looks a lot better than that tealish blue or whatever color you want to call it. That I thought looked good at one point. Uh, headlights we still have to sand down. They got blue paint all over them but we got corner lights out whole lower half of the car is painted might eventually have to touch up some spots but right now it's fine but still gotta tape up the sunroof and then we can get back to work painting on this thing so we can get it done tonight all right guys i know we ain't filmed much of us painting this car you see the red still done. They got most of the white done. And part of the trim piece that we kind of made to go on there, right there. And 
so I'd do that black just for the hell of it, you know. Tail lights. I bought them blacked out and smoked, you know, whatever. They look like shit, so Jay touched them up. A little darker than I wanted them to be, shit, but somebody took black spray paint and painted them. Um, waiting on the white to dry right here. And then uh, we'll be done with put one more stripe or whatever. But besides that, things looking good. I gotta retouch up the mirrors and and either smoke the corner lights or put them back in. Ain't decided yet. We're putting them back in no matter what. But uh, got the grill over here. Working on getting it black instead of that greenish teal blue whatever color it wants to be on a day. But uh, redid the factory roof rack because it was faded grayish looking, but touched it up as black now. So there it goes. By the way, the reason you don't see Jay nowhere is he had to go help my actually my sister. And take her a jack because she broke some wheel studs off on her car somehow but yeah so he should be back anytime i just wanted to film a little bit more before the sun went down over here so it's been an all-day process so we're almost done with it and hopefully it looks good we're on day two of the paint job now pretty much done This was just, you know, a rattle bomb. Quickie job. Worked out well. The tail lights got completely ruined. I grabbed epoxy instead of the VHT nightshades tent that I had. Thought I grabbed the VHT nightshade. I grabbed VHT epoxy and laid a coat of actual black epoxy paint on the tail lights. So we tried sanding that crap off and it just it looks terrible. So this side came out actually okay looking, but the other side is ruined. So we'll probably just order some new lights or maybe I can try to sand those down again. But this is how she turned out. Not too bad. Looks like a Pokeball. Pokemon! And then the roof rack. It got a new coat of black. It's looking spiffy. Spiffy, spiffy. So that'll be the end of it for now. Anything's better than that blue. I thought it was kind of funny. The car was factory white, so now when you open the door, it looks okay from up there, the door jam matching, and you realize it's white underneath, but it still doesn't look terrible. All right. Any last words, David? Huh? Did Dad see it this morning? Oh, no. I oh, that's right. They're still going out of town, aren't they? For good or bad? Alright guys. Well, we'll catch you in the next one. This is enough of the Honda Accord. We're going to go drop the gas tank in the Ford Taurus now and figure out where the leak is. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.